Mount Carlos High, set up the 32 by Whitehead. And James, you played for the yes. Raiders, and when you got traded to the Raiders, one of the first guys you met was Willie Brown. And Willie had been in the league as a second year player when I was first in the league. But the movie bands were there, were unpacking boxes. I didn't realize Willie lived four doors up on the other side of the street. He stopped helped us unpack for the next hour and a half. Wow. And one of the things that the Raiders always say about their organization is once a Raider, always a Raider. So when guys were coming into the organization, whether it was 30 years ago or three weeks ago, Willie Brown was always there to greet them, to talk about what it meant to be a Raider. It meant so much to him. 50 years with the Raider organization for Willie Brown, and such an iconic player. That number 24, when it's given out to a player like Charles Woodson wore, you wear it because Willie Brown wore it so well. Long battle with cancer, Willie Brown passing away at the age of 78 on Tuesday. As you see, the injured Raider Josh Morrow walks off the field. I picked up three yards, and it's second down and seven. He's nervous. John Gruden. He just lacks intensity. Yeah, right. <laughs> He's, He's nervous. Sorry, man. defeated mind. Houston since 2003 when he was with Tampa Bay. Obviously a nine-year absence from coaching. And as Watson throws, and that one is complete to Kenny Stills. Come on, man. Trayvon Mullen was right there, brings up third down. Get that jet motion going across. You hope that linebackers have to move with it. This ball. Nice and well. Kenny Stills, really good hand for what I consider a speed receiver. To really do it all. Love to do a lot more today. Will Fuller inactive because of the hamstring injury he suffered last week against the Colts. Third down and two with Stills in motion. Watson looking for Stills. Nearly intercepted. And that would have been a great oh. He was all over that route but could not bring it in. Come on, man. You got to you catch it. First down marker. Stills already out the break. You can see the pass a little bit behind him. And yeah, this would have been six points going in the opposite direction. Andy. Come on, Trayvon Mullen. Bro, he's, he's good. He's good. An interception in his last eight home games. A span of 61 attempts. But that streak nearly ended right there on third down. Boom. Okay. That's a nice point. Okay, okay, Harris. Okay. Stop screaming! Stop screaming before you turn it off! God, man. Seven players from Clemson in this game. It's a Clemson reunion out there today. You know, we have picture perfect weather outside, but the roof is closed. And one of the reasons they like to do that is to get the crowd noise to disrupt the offensive unit on the other side. Second down and seven. And the first, nice. Acquired in a trade with the Bills on October 8th, he picks up 12. And when you talk to people on the offensive staff, and I even talked to Mike May, they marvel at how quickly Zay Jones picked up all three positions. And by that I mean... That's Zay Jones? Flanker, 
then also the F, which is kind of the slot. Nice. Okay. Another defensive score by the Pats. That's right. Chubb fumbles the ball and Hightower scoops and scores. NFL's number one defense does it again. This is their fourth TD of the season. The Patriots all over the Browns. 10 to 0. Andrew, James, and AJ. But the Browns will be the Patriots. Browns, the Browns are really going to the playoffs. Defense lights out this year. Now the injured Raider is the center, Rodney Hunts Hudson, who is entering the game with an ankle injury, did not practice on Wednesday, now down on the field. Bro, come on.